Hey, what's up you guys? It's Lexi DIY and welcome or welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we are hopping into a super exciting project. We're gonna get started on the Hot Mess Lake House laundry room and we're gonna do demo. Now, I loved doing my laundry room in the Hot Mess House and I, two Christmases ago, did my parents' laundry room and I don't know why, but they are just, for me, the most fun spaces to make over. I think it's because they're functional, but I still want them to look pretty. So speaking of functionality, this cedar closet, oh, I'm sorry to say, it has got to go, honey. We basically just use it as a catch-all, and I know people like use cedar closets for fancy jackets and stuff like that. But to be quite honest, we don't have fancy jackets and we could really use the space for something else more. So I'm gonna be carefully taking out all of the planks of cedar. Now, one thing that was really odd, I could tell that the closet wasn't as deep as the wall looked. So I measured it and I was missing seven inches and I was like, where are those inches? Um, Cause that's valuable storage space. Um, so I cut directly into the drywall once I was done taking the cedar off of that side. And I just wanted to do this to make sure there wasn't any electrical or plumbing, which I had already checked in the attic, but I just wanted to double check better safe than sorry. I put my phone in there too and recorded just so that I could make sure there was nothing. And luckily we were good to go. And I'm also just using my multi-tool to cut little pieces. Um, and that was a lot easier than just like busting a hole through it. Anyway, I was really excited to see that they had just used two by sixes to frame out that side. And that's why we were missing those inches, like with the drywall and everything. Um, which is kind of confusing. I think that they might have put this closet in later and maybe just use like extra materials that they had left over. I don't really know. Either way, we're gonna get those valuable seven inches of storage space back. And I did, again, try to take these off pretty carefully so that if I want to, I can potentially use them for a future project. I am about to take off the door to the cedar closet. Now, you can't really see me <laughs> taking it off too well because this is a small room and my camera um, the lens is only so big. I really need to get another one, but I'm pretty sure like the fisheye one that would let you see this entire room is um, like $600 and I gotta buy a new washer and dryer, so maybe later. Um, anyway, took off all of the casing and then Dustin actually had to come in with his muscles and <laughs> get this door frame out because I just could not. Now, that's a common theme you're gonna see in all of this. I might be Lexi DIY, but there are some things I cannot do myself because frankly, I am weak, but we'll get to that. Um, back to cutting the drywall. Now, since I was cutting more this time, I actually put on my safety gear. So put on my glasses because there was definitely dust flying everywhere and of course a mask. And I just took this out piece by piece. Now, the last time that we took out a wall, like, well, was the first time we took out a wall in the hot mess house. And we just started hitting it with hammers. It was way more messy. <laughs> um, the It took a lot more effort and the cleanup was not as simple as this. So if you are looking to take out drywall in general, definitely recommend cutting it into smaller pieces and taking it out piece by piece rather than just like, you know, busting through the wall like a Kool-Aid man, which is also fun. So maybe do that once and then cut the rest. <laughs> I took off the baseboard so that I could get started on the outside taking all of the drywall off. And this went so quickly and easily. I can't say enough good things about how like simple this cleanup was. Now, a lot of people are gonna be like, Lexi, why are you taking out this closet? But you see that window right there? Yeah, that is like the only natural light coming into this room. And I feel like the closet First of all, it was kind of like just a junk closet. And I think it's kind of blocking that beautiful sunlight that's coming in. Um, so we're gonna do something about it. Now I have a few different ideas, but I'm not entirely sure which one I'm gonna end up doing. So one thought is I could make this area into kind of like a little mud room with a bench and some hooks. But I was thinking about maybe doing that in my entryway. So I'm not 100% certain. 
The other option is I could put, um, you know, a little like countertop with room to roll uh, like laundry baskets under it and maybe like some cabinets. Um, third option, I could make it into sort of like a butler's pantry and we could put our small appliances in here as well and our food because I might be removing a wall in the kitchen. Um, or I could just do like full storage cabinets on that wall that were thinner than the closet and we'll have smaller doors so it won't be an issue like bumping into the garage door. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I might do um, some 3D renderings of each of those options and you know, take you through some inspiration pictures. If that's something that you guys are interested in before I just make that huge decision on which one I'm gonna do, definitely let me know and I'll make a video about it. Um, after I got all the drywall off, it was time to take down these crusty dusty cabinets, which yes, were nailed in. Once we got everything out, I decided it would be easiest to probably start with that smallest cabinet um, because the other one were either two or three. And I was like, why is it not coming apart? And it's because it had a metal clamp on it at the top. I also found like a cat water or food bowl, which was interesting and very dirty, but that's okay. Uh, then I just kind of pried them apart. Now, all of them were nailed together. Dustin was spotting me to make sure I didn't fall down. And as we started to move this, we realized, oh, it's coming down in one piece. Like, like we could not get them apart. So it came down one piece and Dustin, just like an absolute boss, just carried the entire thing out into the garage. And then there was these back panels that we needed to get off. I uh, was a little scared about these because they had a bunch of nails sticking out. So we made sure that to tap them down and everything. And again, I just like was not strong enough to get these off of the wall by myself. So shout out to Creston because he really has been saving the day on this project. Now it's time to do the hardest thing <laughs> that we had to do, which was uh, remove this closet. Now I was very weak and I kept like swinging the sledgehammer and missing because it was just really heavy and I, I couldn't do it. So I tried every now and again, but I was not getting it to move at all. So Dustin was really like, a lot more easily getting it out than me, probably because he has a lot of muscles. So shout out to Krusty and his CrossFit muscles. Um, but anyway, we basically just like smashed it out. That was the easiest thing to do, but there was definitely nails everywhere. And again, I don't really know why they use two by sixes over here. If I had to guess, maybe they just had it left over from another project and like, you know, put it in later because for some reason, I feel like this closet was an addition just like looking at the ceiling. Obviously, I was very sad that I wasn't able to get anything out by myself because I'm weak. Um, but yeah, I, I think that they just like put this in later. So I, I don't really know. But now we're gonna have to patch up all of these holes, which like I'm really not wanting to do that, but gotta do what gotta do. Um, these were probably the hardest to get out because they were up against the wall and we were trying not to put more holes in the wall, but Creston did it very effortlessly. And I'm really excited because you can already tell how much bigger the entire laundry room feels. Another thing that I would love your guys' opinion on is should I, like change out the door that goes to the garage. Right now, it's just one of those like hollow wooden doors and I don't think it has the proper seal that it's supposed to go to the garage. So I don't know. Uh, anyway, it took the old crusty curtains down and you guys, there's so much more light in this space now. It makes me so happy. Um, this, I think like held brooms and stuff like that, which is great for storage, but it was kind of in an odd place, like right next to the sink. So it would always just get super cluttered. Uh, so we took that off and I did accidentally put a hole in the wall. So hate that. Then um, Dustin unhooked all of the water lines for the washer. We actually, since we have a gas dryer, we paid a gas plumber to come and take it out. Now, it, they just flip a switch basically and disconnect it. So I probably could have done that, but I'm not gonna lie, natural gas makes me nervous and I actually really wish we did not have natural gas for both our stove and 
dryer because it just gives me anxiety. Um, anyway, then we turned off like both sides of the water for this little sink. Now I am going to do another variation of a sink, but this one is just like crusted and busted and it has got to go. Once that sink was out, I started taking the rest of the stuff off the wall, like this paper towel holder and just some other random things. And I'm definitely gonna have to patch a lot of holes and I still need to actually take up the flooring in here, but I haven't picked new flooring yet. So we're gonna wait on that. Uh, but I'm so excited for you guys to see the before and after so far.